I think that it's a moment of great anticipation and hope for our church. Because it's a moment where we can start again. New things are coming. I don't know what. And this one in particular, as we can see behind us, everybody's waiting and hoping. And there is smoke. It's black, as expected. But it's, and turned, it's turning white. And again, there's this moment of confusion as there was at the last conclave. The La pedophilia, pedophilia, obscure financing, fatty leaks. But these are actions which are part of the history of human creatures. Jesus never spoke against homosexuality. Religion is not a question of globalization. Renunciare. Who will be the one to succeed? Benedict the Sixteenth. L'Église qu'il faut reconstruire. Il n'y a pas quelque chose aussi qu'on peut voir là-dedans? C'est une gageure. C'est un mystère. C'est pas un homme qui peut réussir ça. Grazie. The last greeting to the people gathered here is the final act of Benedict's pontificate. Benedict the Sixteenth. Annuncio vobis. And as he tells it, he had to choose between his love of a woman and his love of God. He was in love with a girl in the parish. We wish from our hearts that he may be able to achieve a higher level of brotherhood among different people and different religions. That will bring to innovate and evangelize, we'll know in time. He's already spoken about poverty. This is important for us and for all the world too. Suddenly he said in Ukrainian, Glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. I was very surprised. I believe this change will serve world peace. It'll be better for the Muslim world too. Sembra che i miei fratelli cardinali sono andati a prenderlo. Quasi alla fine del mondo, ma siamo qui.